she jumped in! Yeah! Well, moving right along now, it's 72 degrees here in Highland Park, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, cloudy, gray, overcast day. And if you're supposed to be somewhere at 8.30, you're late. Wake up! <laughs> here that we've been working on all semester drawing it and then putting it on the computer and we're fixing to plot it out Minor mistakes that I can easily fix. <laughs> this is my house of the future. how many times will the coin come up heads and how many times will it come up tails, you know? And like if you bought something, you know, that costs 49 cents, how much in change will you get and how much of it will be in quarters, nickels, dimes, and pennies? In Bagpipe, they, they assign us stories to general staff and we go out and we talk to people and we find out what different angles we could write the story from and then we type it into the computer and then we edit it and we go over it with the editors and then we print it in the paper. The computer makes it a lot easier to write your stories because you can see it all on the screen and you don't have to keep writing different copies out. You can just change your mistakes on the screen instead of having to do it by hand. Her camera is fully automated. Right. Photojournalism is a really fun class. We um, make prints of pictures and we take a lot of pictures of activities that go on around the school and we develop and we spend a lot of nights in the dark room processing and printing pictures and stuff. It's kind of neat to be able to have, you know, just like being able to take pictures of your friends and, um, and everything and just being able to, you know, really make an image of something. It's kind of neat being so young and being able to do something like that, I guess, is pretty exciting. It's a lot of responsibility having to um, tell everybody else like how to you know um, print all their pictures and and having to be in charge of stuff like that and then sometimes you have to go shoot stuff you really don't want to shoot but still be really boring but um, in the end I think it's real rewarding. Oh, that is a pretty one. Okay. 
Laura, James, and Holly. You worship them, yeah. Being on your big video is a lot harder than most people think. A lot of people think they just go around and shoot pictures and then Try just kind of edit them together. Um, there's a lot more process than most people think. What we do is we shoot and then we have to go back and log everything that we have and that requires looking at little bitty TV screens for hours and hours and writing down the numbers on the TV screens as they correspond on the tape. And then we have to go back and put all those together to arrange the section. Excuse me, just a minute. Can I see Mr. John Doe, please? Mr. Doe, we got a little problem here. Uh, seems our little computer has counted you A-W-O-L on March the 10th. That was a Friday after the Scotty basketball game down in Austin. Now, uh, I don't know whether you were down in Austin partying or if you just slept late, but we need a note from your mama signed saying where you were, what you're doing, and it was okay with her. So can you bring me a note tomorrow? Okay, can you handle it? All right. I'm going to mark it down right here so I can remember. We'll bring note tomorrow to attendance office to give to me to verify unexcused absence. Can you handle it? All right. Hey, we'll see. My teacher is Ms. Burkett. Um, she's a lot of fun. She's really young, so she's really innovative and creative and has a lot of new ideas and it's a lot of fun because she helps us do more things because you know, art can be kind of boring if you want it to if, if you make it be but the way Ms. Barkhead teaches it's a lot of fun. Being on Tartan is a lot of fun. There, are, um, The Tartan magazine comes out once a year and there's poetry, short stories, and art in the Tartan and there's two different boards, one that votes on the art that's going to be in there and one that votes on the poems and short stories. And I'm on the literary board. And um, it's, it's a real relaxed atmosphere. We have a lot of fun. We vote, we read the poems out loud, and then we vote on um, which ones are, which ones we like. It's always really fun because I'm amazed at how many good poems we get. In technical theater, we build the sets, and we take tests, and we learn about broadcasting, and we work with people who have plays, and they help them to get them all ready. What are you building, huh? Uh, we're going to uh, win the window frame. Working on the window frame, Yeah. Huh? yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the window I was working on. It's uh, about done. Does it look good from in there? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Great. Great. Nice yeah, it's done. done. This year, was a, it was a little choppier than last year. Usually, they do just one play. But um, this year we had three three different plays that we were doing, and um, I was in one of them. So we, it wasn't like a unit like it usually is. But um, once we got our individual play going, it was a lot of fun, and um, the three of us worked together very well as a group. So I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> oh, here, Mother, drink this. Oh, I think I popped it back too far. <laughs> oh, here goes. Well. Perfect. You're the prettiest Epicurean I've ever seen. Bring it back in. You tell them to find you take go take it to the kitchen. Guys, when you two, when y'all all walk in with bags, look in the bags. Because Trey walks right past the window. Chris is looking in the bag. Yeah, yeah. Can I flash you? Oh, well, I can't see. Hey, Court, when are we getting here? The bed just fits. 
musical was, was really a lot of fun. It's, it was the first time that I, I'd ever really uh, done a musical or anything like that. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it, especially the part about meeting all the, all the new people, all the, um, all the seniors that I probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have met before. And just a lot of great memories. Opening night was, um, uh, I don't, I, at first I was really, really scared. I got out there and I, I was just really shaking. Because you know it's the first time I'd been out. I didn't, you know, I didn't even think it was going to be such a big deal. I hadn't even thought it through before. But when I saw those people out there, it, it was really scaring me. But after a while, after we started going, I, you know, I didn't want it to end. It was a lot of fun. Bye. November, we usually um, practice for Christmas music, and then we have like probably about six or eight different performances over Christmas with just lads and lassies, and then part version, the smaller group, we probably go every night to about two different performances. It's so much fun. Christmas is probably the best time of the whole year to be singing. But then later, after after the first semester is over, we start to work on. Um, on like German pieces and stuff like that for UIL where we go and compete during the school day. But then towards the end of the year when there's not much to do, we all get to work on um, musical music, which is so much fun. We had the biggest blast doing that. Choir, I mean, I, I've really enjoyed choir. I've been in it for about four years, so it's been a lot of fun.
enjoyed watching it at football games, and I just enjoyed music. When the fans are in, are supporting the team, um, it helps a lot because, and that's our main goal is to um, get the fans back. Because we've, I mean, as we've seen in basketball just lately, it really means a lot. We're white guys, and we don't take no crap. When we get down, we do a white boy rap. Word. No rhythm. Word. No rhythm. We play defense, you can't run or pass. And when you step on, the we're gonna kick your word. No rhythm. Word. No rhythm. The colony, Allen and Mac. We're bigger, we're better, and baby, we're back. Word. No rhythm. Word. No rhythm. Bohack, Tyler, the Ninja OJ. Storm it down the field when we're ready to play. Word. No rhythm. Word. No rhythm. This year in basketball, we've had an exciting time. 
state tournament is the best, I mean, the best thing we could ever go to. We always dream for this. The, um, the crowds were magnificent this year. We couldn't ask for a better crowd. That, the fans were an important part of our game. They often took out the opponents during the calls, haircuts, and the keys dangling and all that. During free throws really had an effect on the other players. They really got behind us during the basketball team, during the playoffs and everything. For they made flyers and they no chance. They decorated the cars and everything. It was really exciting. We had a blast throughout the whole season. We had fans that come and they just supported us. We had the most crowd ever. I mean, the most people that you can imagine at the games in Austin. We had attendance around 10,000 people in the Superdrome. And in here at Moody Coliseum against Lancaster, which was the highlight of the season, we had around 6,000 people. Lancaster itself, the game, was I mean, just the epitome of basketball. We started out slow, however, and we were, I was scared personally during the game, beginning with Lancaster and Thomas Hill, who I'll never forget. Well, um. They went up by 10 points. We slowly chiseled away at that lead. Slowly chiseled away at that lead. And finally, at halftime, we were ahead by one point to Eric O'Shell during overtime to win it. With two seconds left in overtime, he went up to the line being fouled and had to sink the free throws. With 3,000 people yelling and screaming at him and 3,000 people praying, he had to sink his free throws. With everybody in, um, trying to psych him out. He went up to the line, cool, calm, and collective. We now call him Ice because of this. Went up there and sank his free throws. Oh, we really uh, had a pretty good season as it ended. It started off a little slow, but we really came together as a team. So, at, at the beginning, we had uh, juniors moving down to JV, uh, sophomores that were already at JV, uh, freshmen moving up to JV. And uh, we usually a team has played together since elementary school, but uh, we really didn't have that advantage. We had to adjust to each other's playing styles. And uh, before district started, we really struggled for a while. But uh, by the time district started, we came together, and played very well. <laughs> We ended up 15 and 15 in the um, district. I think we were maybe 5 and 5. Um, so uh, we didn't do as well as we'd hoped to, but you know, we weren't upset. Well, this season was very interesting compared to last year's because we lost a lot of seniors last year, and this year was a really new team. We had a lot of sophomores on it, and we were plagued by injuries. I was out because of a grade, and Karen was out because of a because of her knee, and so we had honorary captains, and it was a lot different this year because we had a lot of people out. But it was a good season, I thought. We get a charge championship, but we don't get the playoffs. But we get a spring break, <laughs> which is good, because I've never had a spring break because of soccer, because we've always gone to the playoffs. This is the first time we will not be in the playoffs. Our practices were really fun. We would, uh, we would be doing all sorts of drills and be very serious. But uh, waiting in lines and stuff, uh, everyone would just goof around. It was, it was really neat the way uh, we mixed seriousness with fun. Our season, we did a lot better than we were expected to. Uh, we went all the way to the regional final. We barely even made it out of district. We had to win our final game on a shootout just to take second place and advance to the playoffs. Uh, we beat three teams in the playoffs and we're one game short of going to Austin. The girls go at it with a lot of enthusiasm but they're comfortable in matches the football team. Uh, they, they take it as their, their first and only thing that they think about. They run a teamwork, the three hits and they, they spike, slam, all this kind of stuff. Um, it's really exciting to watch as well. The girls get really Really hectic and uh, really into it.
in the fall we had stayed. Um, we were running up the stayed. Um, then in the spring we individually we had like Andrew Manners and the top players go to stayed and unfortunately they lost in the in the first rounds. But uh, in the fall, you know, that's when I got to play and that's when we did really good. So I mean that's that's what I can relate to. So did really good in season. So. The swim season this year it was pretty good because um, the girls won all their meets and came in first in district and fifth in regionals. None of the girls um, made it to state, but Mike Cruz made it to state and did pretty well. So it was overall pretty good. I think at the high school level, we need to, to have a, a broad curriculum, but, but I'm not sure that students need as many choices as they have today. As far as the educational experience of the students, I think that they are offered a wide variety of, of um, subject areas. Uh, we have an extremely uh, talented, knowledgeable faculty that provide um, vast information to us to the students um, there are very few things that the kids here don't have some degree of exposure to we're going to see how many calories are in each little gummy bear pure sugar well first i heated the potassium chlorate and it's heating right now as soon as it turns to a liquid i'll drop the gummy bear in and we'll see what happens what should happen is we have to get back to teaching more reasoning in the classroom. I really feel like that if the kids had more of an opportunity to interact with adults, teachers, I don't know how to do that. I don't know. You know I feel like that we miss out on a lot of times with kids just because we're being a teacher and we're really not being a person and I don't know how to incorporate that. I think that one of the great advantages that the kids have by going to Holland Park is that they are, to me, better prepared for college. I think by, we have a, quite a few advanced classes that are offered here compared to other school districts. The captain will call you, I'll tie back my hair, 
Men's clothing I'll put on, I'll pass as your comrade. We march along. After all, the bear is a very large animal. The rifles of that time were not quite powerful enough to uh, fell a bear with one shot, unless you were very lucky. So you might just get into it with a wounded bear. I think the curriculum at Holland Park is is uh, diverse enough where you have enough kids that are interested in different things to be involved. Teach them how to ask themselves questions in order to understand the material. Because if you can learn the right questions to ask, I don't care what math course it is, you can virtually teach yourself anything. Through A4 and A3. Go to A4. Up to A4. Well, I don't think... Uh, there are many schools that afford students the opportunity to participate in as many quality extracurricular programs as this does. Uh, academics, we never left the basics. Uh, there's a big return to basics at Home Park. We never left the basics. It's really hard, but we love it. I guess just all the hard work that we do just makes us really close. We won stay, which is, I mean, it was pretty incredible considering we, every, we had about four or five people get hurt, and nobody else thought that we were going to be able to win. All the papers thought that we were going to lose, and we were trying to predict who was going to win, and we got really mad about that. We thought that you know, we had worked so hard that we should win. So I think that really helped us. Um, I mean, it was, we couldn't even believe it. Coach Mauser, he was, he was just so excited that we won. I mean, he, we were screaming and everybody thought we were going crazy, basically. In track, we got second place overall in state. And I don't think we've, no, we've never, ever done that before. And, you know, that was, one, that was really great. I mean, this is like one of the best seasons we've ever had. Uh, the season was extremely successful. We won state, obviously. Um, strong team this year. Trip Keeney, Harrison Frazier, David Clark, three uh, powerhouses on our team. They really pulled us through the whole year and uh, had a lot of support players come in at the clutch times during the season when we the state tournament. Jimmy Cole and uh, Pace came in and uh, really pulled through for us. The award ceremonies are generally just kind of uh, kind of simple. They have it after the end and they've tabulated the all scores. The, uh, they hand out the trophies. The team gets a trophy and uh, for the first three places, every player gets a, a medal, gold, silver, bronze.
seven. That's it. All right. Um, and on Saturday, once we leave at 945, we're also wearing First year that uh, Holland Park Gymnastics team has ever won districts, and we're in the district with uh, all the Richardson schools, and we beat out second place uh, yeah. Bergner, and we went on to regionals, and we placed third as a team. We placed fourth in the state, and that was really great. That's only like the second time a gymnastics team has ever gone to state. Practice is really fun, but they're really rough too. Because I mean. We uh, like walk on our hands and you know, jump over people's legs, and we'd also just do a lot of wrestling, use physical fitness. And stuff. Pretty fun. Well, our season was uh, pretty good. So we won the regional championship, but uh, it didn't been too good mistake. We had a lot of young guys who didn't have very much experience. But the next years or you know next couple of years, it should be pretty good. <laughs> Told me to come in here and watch some film. No, no, David, don't open that, David! Don't oh my God! God. <laughs> the yearbook was was awesome this year and it was a lot of fun signing it and getting all your friends to sign it and you know a lot of the signing was done at the senior picnic and that's where we got to play volleyball and just generally have a lot of fun So I'm able 
went back and asked some of them, how did I do? I remembered that I was short. <laughs> so ready to go, huh? Yeah, ready to go. Well, you're the first person to show up. Sometimes I think people here in Highland Park forget that. Teachers all over the state know what Highland Park represents, and it represents the very best. Highland Park uh, and its 75 years is just a tribute to the community. Any, any school that has done an outstanding job for that period of time, it's a tribute to the people who live in this community. You know, it's a type of school that no matter where you go in the state of Texas, people will have heard of it. And that's something that hasn't changed. This is a place where a kid can grow, where a kid can learn, and where the teachers really do care. I think the big thing that this school does
organizers of the 75th celebration. Uh, thank you, Mr. Beard and Dr. Power, for being here today. And uh, this concludes our ceremony. Be back here in the year 2014. <laughs>
The most popular band, of course, Jan and Dean. Do you remember them? No. Your mom and dad do, though. Great band. Classic stuff. Elvis Costello, number five with Spike. Great album. Finally sold out. He is commercial now. Good stuff. Good stuff from Elvis. Fine Young Cannibals, The Raw and the Cooked is number four. We've got hometown girl Edie Brickell in New Bohemians. You can tell your kids that you knew her, that you probably even touched her at one point. Too many things, I know what I know if you know what I mean. Cure, Disintegration, number two. Also a close personal favorite of mine. And the number one album of 1989, the Batman soundtrack. Stop the press. So long from your past. Goodbye. Ah! Hide me, Eddie! Please! In 1988, Who Framed Roger Rabbit took movie audiences by surprise with its outrageous blend of live action and animation. It wasn't the best picture of the year, but it was certainly the most unique. The school year of 88-89 was one of the best in history. A movie in Dallas cost around $6, and the grand old Highland Park Village Theater remodeled itself into a three-plex, the first to serve ice cream and frozen yogurt. Here's a look at the movies of 88-89. Well, we'll have to let you drive sometime. Raymond, Raymond! You never, never touch the steering wheel when I'm driving. Do you hear me? Rain Man with Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise won the Oscar for Best Picture. The story of an autistic savant and his belligerent brother also won Dustin Hoffman the Best Actor Award. Indiana Jones returned with Harrison Ford and Sean Connery to light up the screen in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, part three of an exhilarating adventure series. Baseball fans went wild and emotional over Kevin Costner in Field of Dreams, a wonderful movie about an Iowa farmer who builds a magical baseball diamond in the middle of his cornfield. Dead Poet Society starring Robin Williams told the story of a gifted English teacher who taught his students the meaning of romance and the written word. And the most popular movie had to be Batman, starring Michael Keaton, Kim Basinger, and Jack Nicholson. A dark, mysterious comic book epic that made more than $200 million the first two weeks. A terrific movie that audiences went back to see again and again. 1988-89 showcased other good films like Die Hard with Bruce Willis and Mississippi Burning with Gene Hackman. It was also a controversial time as more than 5,000 people publicly protested a local theater for showing The Last Temptation of Christ. What a great year for going to the movies. I'm Gary Cogill, Channel 8 News.